the most typical way, though, people use stories is by doing a very simple, here's my first floor, garage, my second floor, study, my third floor, uh, living room, fourth floor, bedrooms, fifth floor, roof, etc. And this is actually for this particular project we're looking at, which is on a very steep hillside, so therefore it's got four stories. And so you can set these stories up. Once you set the stories up, and you can actually open the story settings by either right-clicking on stories within your navigator, or by going to the design menu and selecting story settings. Once those settings are open, you can then add, insert above or below new stories, and then define the height between the stories. As you're working with stories, you may also want to be able to um, uh, reference a story above or below your current story. To do that, you can use something in ARCHICAD called Trace Reference. It's very simple. You get, again, going up to the top of your toolbars above. One of the tools is our Trace Reference, and that's turned on, and this is clicked out. You can actually select above or below current story. And you can also open up something called the Trace Reference Palette below here. Trace Reference Palette is, opens up. A lot of people like to keep this on their screen. You can then also select above or below current story as well. When you do that, you'll see that particular story that you're uh, referencing grayed out um, above or below your current story. You can snap to it. You can reference it. You can even change the reference color. As I mentioned, layers is, a, is the next important aspect to, to setting up and, and, and beginning a project. When you're working with layers, um, layers in ARCHICAD is uh, something that we use to uh, control information within the project in, in a really simple way. Uh, if we look at our quick options here, we can pop out our layer combinations here. By default, the layer combinations control layers that we want on or off, unlocked or locked. So very simple here. We have the site plans. We select that. And the site plan layers turn on specific to that information. Some of those same layers, such as walls, for example, may also be used on the floor plan. And other layers, such as trees, get turned off in the floor plan because you don't want to use those. Or, I'm sorry, you don't want to see those in the floor plan. So within our floor plan view, we select floor plan layer combination, and it turns on those specific ones for our floor plan. In this option, this, 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 the, the use of layers is very important, not just for plan view, but really all views within ARCHICAD. You will find as you begin to set up sections, elevations, 3D views, etc., that you will use layers um, quite often to create and save views so that as you go to those views, it shows only the information you need to show for that specific um, drawing view or 3D view. As I mentioned, layers um, have uh, layer combinations and, and layers. There's two parts to it. When you go, the way you open a layer, uh, the layer settings, is you go to your document menu, you go to layers, and layer settings. That will then open up our layer settings dialog. Within our layer settings dialog is two parts, layers and layer combinations. The layers are the individual layers that you, that, that you select as you begin to draft and draw and model. So for example, if I'm drawing a wall, I'm going to go select a wall layer. If I'm drawing a column, I'm going to select a column or structural layer, and etc. Once I have all the information on the layers particular to those elements, I then create layer combinations to control which layers I want on or off, locked or unlocked. So as the example I just showed, floor plan over here, when I select it, would turn on or off layers particular to that particular drawing view. 